Today we're going to be making a tomato casserole that I call scalloped tomatoes. Now we've tried for two other times to put this on the show and for one reason or another either the camera broke or the film broke or something happened uh, it didn't make it to air so hopefully this one will make it. I want to tell you how I got this recipe. Um, years ago there was a little restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky called Sanders Cafe and this was owned by the famous Colonel Sanders. My in-laws would travel up and down 75 and they would frequently stop by this restaurant and eat there. Well, one day they had this, rest, this um, dish and my mother-in-law loved it. And while she was there, she complimented Colonel Sanders and he said, would you like for me to give you the recipe? And of course she did. And she's, she used the recipe for years and then she passed it on to me and I've been using it for years. So um, the ingredients are as follows. I have five slices of thick sliced bacon cooking. I want to get those nice and crisp and then we're going to use the drippings. To those drippings I'm going to add a chopped onion, a medium chopped onion, about a cup as you can see. We're going to be using a can of whole tomatoes, a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and some salt and pepper. And then we're going to put all of that mixture onto four slices of toast, toasted white bread or wheat bread, whatever you want to use. Now, as soon as this bacon finishes frying here, I will take it out and we will garnish the dish with this bacon. Scalloped tomatoes is a great side dish and a compliment to any meat. Um, I serve it a lot of times with uh, pork chops or with steak. Uh, fried chicken, really good with fried chicken. So you can just uh, use this confidently and your guests will love it. Um, this recipe here will feed four people pretty well, a good side dish, but I usually do double or triple a recipe if I'm having company. So this bacon's almost ready. Now today I used um, Italian French Italian bread. Um, it has the sesame seeds on top and it's a little bit thicker. It's almost like the old Texas toast that we've eaten. So I will chop that up here in just a minute. Bacon is coming out. And you should have about two tablespoons of the bacon drippings and that looks about right. And I'm going to move that or turn my heat down just a little bit. All right, now I'm going to add my onion carefully. And brown those up. I love the smell of uh, fried onions. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. You don't need much because the bacon's salty. Add about a tablespoon of sugar. And you want to get those onions tender. Take about three or four minutes. They're already starting to brown. Once they do start getting tender, you want you do want to add about two tablespoons of flour. This will thicken it up and almost make a gravy. Now while that's finishing up, I'm going to put a knife. I'm going to run a knife right through my whole tomatoes just to chop them up a little bit. can finish it in the skillet. Just pour those in. And that flour will immediately start binding to your tomato juice and makes a gravy. So continue to cut up and break up your tomatoes.
medium to low heat is best for this once you get your bacon fried because you don't want it to scorch or boil over. Just let that boil for about a minute or so. And while that's boiling, you can tear up your toast. Just tear it up into bite-sized pieces and throw it in. See how easy this is. Just push in your toast and coat it gently. You don't have to get it all completely covered because you're going to pour this into a casserole dish. This is a big skillet. I'm going to transfer this to the baking dish. Turn off my heat and get the last of those good onions and that sauce. You could eat it just like this right here, but you need to bake it in the oven for just a few minutes. Crumble up your bacon and put it in, and that will just give it even more flavor when it bakes. Put it in a 350 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes till it's bubbly, and then it's all ready. The tomato casserole should be done. Let's see if it is. Yes, it's hot and bubbly, just perfect. That will go very well tonight with my fried chicken for dinner. If you'd like to see some of our other recipes, go online to our Facebook page. It's on the screen.